Hello everyone, too late to succeed here with a second episode for a free to play to 1 billion GP series. In today's video, we will go over three different money making methods, announce and show the winners of the last giveaway, as well as talk about the next giveaway that I will be hosting. Our first money making method will be looting in the PvP world. There are no requirements for you to start doing this method and you can make anywhere from 300,000 GP per hour up to millions of GP depending on your luck. The reason why we started with this method is that we didn't have a lot of money left after buying the bond and this is honestly one of the best money making methods if you are broke and don't have high stats to start grinding the bosses or doing the slayer tasks. We started the second episode with about 1 million GP and I'll be honest we didn't get huge amounts of GP made this episode due to a busy week but I will tell you the amount at the end of this video. As you can see from the clip most of the items that we are looting is arrows, dragon knives and food. You might get lucky from time to time and pick up items like Darax pieces from the ground or something else but that obviously doesn't happen too often. What I like to do is that I use rune lights markers to mark the spot where one of the players die and check the timer from my phone. Items will appear on the ground after one minute has passed so you can start preparing your trip from one marker to another without missing on any potential loot. This was one of the methods that I had not done before therefore I had to learn the best spots as I was trying it out. If you're looking for a steady flow of GP from arrows and food then I'd recommend to stay in between the West Varak Bank and the Grand Exchange. For potentially decent loot but very competitive area, you could stick to West, South or East of GE. For the best chance to loot something expensive, you should go just slightly north from the GE and you'll find people fighting in Darak sets that sometimes do not pick all of the items from the ground. Once the one hour session was done, we headed to Grand Exchange to sell all of the items that we picked up. As you can see from the clip, we unfortunately didn't get any expensive items to sell and we spent quite a bit of time trying to learn the best locations to loot. So the first one hour didn't really earn us a lot of money, so we made approximately around 279,000 GP. Because I was not satisfied with the first hour, I decided to go back and try looting now that I knew more about this method. Knowing the locations and maybe getting slightly lucky, we managed to earn way more than previously even though we didn't get lucky with any expensive items again. After quick selling all of our items below the average prices in the Grand Exchange, we made about 849,000 GP in about one and a half hour so 550,000 GP per hour. We now had 2.5 million GP, but something was still missing. Yep, that's right, we were missing the outfit so we wouldn't look like a bot anymore. Next thing that I wanted to complete was the Druidic Ritual to unlock the Herb Lore, which also unlocks a lot of good money making methods in the future. I will definitely cover some of them in this series as well. It's that time again, we will show the winners of the previous giveaway and will announce the next giveaway on this video. So just like the last time, we will be using random comment picker to select the winner. And the first winner of our giveaway is Raven Max with a comment, what's up my guy? Congrats. And the second winner of the giveaway was Brady Brown with a comment of his RuneScape name. Congratulations to both of you guys. Just to clarify one thing, I do check if the winners have subscribed to my channel and if they haven't, they get disqualified. I see some people unsubscribed since they didn't win the last giveaway, but don't worry if you didn't win. I am hosting weekly giveaways and I'll talk about 50 million GP giveaway closer to end of this video. Next money making method on the list is buying arrow tips from Gnome Stronghold and selling them back to the Grand Exchange. There are again no requirements to do this method and you will be making around 300,000 GP up to 400,000 GP per hour depending how busy the game is and how many bots are currently abusing this method. 
you have to trade this NPC called Galak and buy all mithril, steel and bronze arrow tips. I would recommend that you would check the prices from the Grand Exchange before you start buying the arrow tips, as prices might have changed over time. Another advice that I can give you is that if you see that their stores are empty and there are no arrow tips, then it is possible that there is bot ahead of you trying to buy all of these arrow tips. So what I would rec recommend is that just hop a few worlds ahead and then start buying as soon as you see that shops have a lot of arrow tips available. Bots are not smart enough to hop a few worlds ahead, meaning that you will be able to buy all of these arrow tips with no problem, unless obviously there's another bot that you are competing with, at which point you will have to hop again. This is not a very good AFK method, meaning that you will have to focus on buying these arrow tips in order to be able to profit 300 to 400,000 GP per hour. At the end of one hour, we made about 305,000 GP profit, but we had to compete with a lot of bots during this session. Because I have a full-time job on the side, obviously I can't do all of these active money-making methods always, which is why I decided to get 35 smithing level so I could start making cannonballs while I work. I didn't cover this as a money-making method because you only make 100,000 GP approximately per hour, meaning that you should focus on something else if you have available time. In order for me to start making the cannonballs, I had to complete the quest called Dwarf Cannon. As you might have guessed, once I completed the quest, I started making the cannonballs. At the end of my session, I made exactly 12,000 cannonballs and sold it for approximately 640,000 GP profit. Next I wanted to complete a few low requirements or no requirements quests to unlock a few more money making methods. We started with the waterfall quest and then moved next to the jungle potion. And as some of you guys might have already guessed, we were aiming to complete the Shiloh village quest. But in order for us to complete that, we needed to get 32 agility and 20 crafting. But because that was something that I was not ready to commit to, I decided that I will continue with some of the money making methods. Last money making method this time was filling empty baskets with fruits. There are again no requirements to do this method and you can make anywhere from 400,000 GP up to 600,000 GP per hour. During this session I focused on filling the baskets with bananas, but noticed that oranges had way better margin and I could have made 600,000 GP per hour instead. So I would recommend again to check the Grand Exchange prices before you start doing this. I wanted to thank Terminator for leaving this comment on a Reddit post. He was suggesting me to collect bananas from the cram job, which reminded me of this method where we fill baskets with different fruits. For the best efficiency, I would recommend that you would take 5 baskets and fill the rest of your inventory with fruits. We just did a quick 6 minute test for this video, and based on the 6 minute profit, we estimated that we can profit about 400,000 GP per hour. Once I had completed filling all the baskets, we made about 490,000 GP profit. For those that wonder what happened to 1.7 million GP per hour method that I was talking about in the first episode, don't worry, I did a completely separate video about that on my channel. It is the one right before this video, where we actually made 3.7 million GP profit per hour instead. Don't forget to go and watch it. Now the last thing to mention is that I have an idea for the 50 million GP giveaway, but I'd like to hear what you guys think. I am assuming that we will get 200 subscribers by next week Saturday, meaning that the next giveaway will be a big one. Don't disappoint me by not getting to 200 subscribers because the giveaway will be delayed in that case. The idea I had was that I would stream the giveaway where we would play different games like Heads or Tails and select multiple winners for the giveaway. I would split the 50 million GP to 25 million each and host the giveaway at different times in case people from Europe are asleep or vice versa. Let me know what you guys think, don't forget to subscribe and see you guys next time. Take care, bye.